Elizeth Mora Cardoso, sometimes listed as Elizeth Cardoso, was a singer and actress of great renown in Brazil. Her 1958 album, Canzão do Amor de Mais, Too Much Love Song, is widely regarded as the first true bossa nova album, a hybrid style of breezy jazz and traditional Brazilian music that captured the stylistic evolutions of the era. Before we continue with this video, if you are new to footprints, subscribe to our channel for more videos. We post educational content, more on past, part on present, and less on future. On 16th of July, 1920, Elizete Mora Cardoso was born into a family of musicians in Rio de Janeiro and debuted as a singer at just five years old. Her first major break occurred at her 16th birthday party when an introduction to popular Brazilian musician, Jacob du Bandelim, changed her life. Jacka took her to Radio Guanabara, where, in spite of her father's initial opposition, she appeared on the program as Suburbano, with Vicente Celestino, Aracido Amida, Maura Dia Silva, Noel Rosa and Marilia Batista on August 18, 1936. The week after, she was hired by the station, to appear on a weekly program. Following this, she continued to perform on, various shows with multiple radio stations. Cardoso's fame continued to grow into the 1940s, with regular appearances, and by performing everywhere, from circuses to ballrooms. In 1950, Cardoso, recorded her first hit, Canzau do Amor, Love Song. The explosion of popular reception for this single, paved the way for a fruitful musical career, that was soon followed by success, as an actor in, both TV and film. Cardoso became an international sensation in the following decades, her heartfelt spin on Brazilian music, garnered standing ovations, with one lasting 15 minutes, and enchanted audiences globally in 1980s. In 2007, Rolling Stone Brazil, listed Cardoso's, Canzau do Amor de Mais, among the nation's top 100 albums of all time. Elizeth continued to sing and act with great success, until her death. By the end of her life, she had released well over 40 albums in Brazil, Portugal and other countries. Cardoso died of cancer, at the age of 69. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe to Footprints for more videos. Do follow us on our social media accounts to get updates on our new videos.